Yeah. That's just weird. Hey there! Welcome to Doll Motion. We are in the middle of the holiday season. And to make your dolls fully ready for the holidays, I have three easy crafts. Let's begin with this sweater. I'm going to use a pair of socks with a Christmas print. To make the socks ready, I cut off the heel and toe area. Now the pair of socks are in four parts. Two with an ankle part and two without. I start with the ankle part. We flip them upside down. I cut two inlets on the side like this. I cut off corners to make shoulders. Let's cut off some fabric so the doll's hands can go through. And for the neck area, I cut off fabric like this. Well, you can already see the shape of the sweater. Now, I have to flip it inside out and sew everything together. To finish the neck area, I use some white fake fur and sew it around it. I glue the edge with some fabric glue and fold it into the inside. The same for the sleeves. When the glue is all dry, I flip the sweater inside out. Now for method 2. I will use the non-ankle pair this time. I will take the first part and cut off some fabric, because my dolls are smaller. This is of course optional. I cut off a half oval shape for the neck, fold the piece in half and cut off again an oval shape on the sides, this time for the arms. Then I take the second part and cut it in half. It's optional to give the sweater long sleeves, but I'm going to cut them shorter. I round the edges and we cut the shape for a sweater. First, I flip all the parts inside out and start sewing everything together. For the neck area, I'm also going to give it some white fake fur. Like the other sweater, I glue all the edges for a neat look. Flip it inside out and we got another sweater. So with just one pair of socks you can make three Christmas sweaters. Let's go to the next craft, a Christmas or Santa hat. For this craft you will be needing a red fabric like felt and white fake fur. Or just buy a cheap hat and take it apart. Measure the doll's head, give it 2 cm of sew space and trace a shape like this. I cut the shape out of fabric. I then take a strip of white fake fur and sew it on the edge like this. When I'm done, I glue the edge with fabric glue and glue it to the inside. I then fold the head in half so the bad side is revealed. And sew a line to close the head. To make the head poseable, I cut off a piece of aluminum wire. And sew it to the head following the same attachment line. Then I flip the head inside out, revealing the good side. To finish the head, I glue a pom pom and fabric glue to the tip. Now for the last holiday craft, a reindeer headband. To start, I use a tea light, take off the candle and cut off a strip with scissors. A small note, cutting metal with scissors can ruin them, so take one you can miss. I fold the metal strip in half and glue it on felt. Then I take a piece of felt, fold it in half 
and glue them together with fabric glue and cut out two endless shapes. I also cut out two brown ears. I then glue everything to the band with fabric glue. And then we cut ourselves a reindeer headband. You can of course make them in different colors or shapes. Or decorate them. Speaking of decorations, cheap holiday earrings can be great decorations for dolls. You can temporarily pin them on or glue them with fabric glue. And last one. Hey, what do you think of the tree? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks great. What? Don't you like Christmas trees? Oh yeah, it's great. But I care more about what's under it. Under it? Sweet red presents. Like a Nintendo Switch. Wow. I could have known. Well, that was it for this craft tutorial. I have still one Christmas special coming up and it's going to be a repaint. So like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. Don't want to miss the next video? Hit that bell icon. So you will get a notification. See you in the next video. Bye!